it's the uh, final fight week here. Uh, what's what's the feel? I mean, are you soaking it in? Are you taking more time? Is, is, is it feel any different than another fight week? Everything's happening so fast. <laughs> Everything is coming full force. And I am taking it in. I'm just like, you know what, let me just enjoy each moment. Really think about every question. Really answer wholeheartedly. Stuff like that. Nice. What made you come to the conclusion that now it's finally time we're, we're definitely we're definitely called off? Because you could look phenomenal, fantastic, have the best fight of your career. And then oh, think. I'm going to. <laughs> I'm yeah. going to look so, phenomenal. So what made you make the decision? So back when I signed my, my four-fight contract, I knew at the end of that I'd be about 43, 44 years old. And I was like, everybody keeps asking me, when are you going to retire, when are you going to retire? And in my head, I'm like, that's when I'm going to retire. And if the UFC allows me, I want to finish out on my own terms. I would like to finish out my contract. And it was one of those things that I was just like, just every fight, go in, go in and, you know, put on a show, put on a show for the fans, put on a show, get the win, obviously. Um, I didn't tell anybody. I didn't tell my husband. I didn't tell my coach. I just knew. I put it in the back of my head and I just knew. And after my last fight with Macy, I called up my manager. He's like, what, what, no. I'm like, no, dude, this is it. He's like, did you tell Mondo? I'm like, no, he's hearing it for the first time, who is my husband. And he's like, really? And I'm like, yeah, this is it. This is it. And three days later, hey, you ready? And I'm like, okay, who you got? And they said, Misha. And I'm like, okay, let's run it. That's awesome. So as you sit here right now, I mean, it, it sounds like it played out all according to your plan, but as you sit here, I mean, are you still at peace with that decision? Is there even a part of you that says, ah, I, I, I love this ride. I'm not ready to give it up yet. No, no, I'm good. <laughs> I am good. I'm telling you right now, I am looking forward to not stepping on the scale again. I am looking forward to eating whatever I want. I am looking forward to being less obsessive about being in the game. I'm I mean, I completely threw my whole entire self into mixed martial arts 15 years ago when I first started, and I didn't stop. I didn't stop for nothing, for nobody, not a reunion, not a death in the family, not a party, not a family get to nothing. I obsessed. I was like, no, I have to train. And I think it'll be um, a little rewarding to be less obsessive because I'm pretty sure I'll find something else to obsess about. Would you have changed anything? Would you have done things any differently? No. Uh-uh. Everything came full circle the way it needed to be. I think um, everything happened the way it needed to for a reason, and it's led me to this. That's awesome. We'll talk about the matchup with Misha, obviously a former champion, legend in the game. What do you think about uh, getting her as your farewell fight? I think that's a great opportunity. I think the way the UFC wrote it out, I mean, you can't write this any better. You have one coming in here. You have one going out. Um, so I think that's a – I think the way they did it just – Bam, there you go, just for you guys. Nice. What are you expecting from her? I think everybody's trying to figure out, right? Obviously, she's been away for, you know, over four and a half years. So, um, you know, how do you prepare for somebody like that? Do you, do you look at, you know, her vintage tape, or do you expect something different? I mean, what are you expecting out of her? Mm, there's, not, there's not a lot we know. Obviously, we don't know in the past five years if she's been training, if she's been, you know, doing what she needs to do. Uh, so what I expect from her is I expect her to come all out. I expect her to try to make a point. I'm ready for this division, and that's where I'm going to have to stop her because I want to make an explanation point on finishing my journey, not a period. I want to make an explanation point saying, hey, I'm going out with this. Nice. And, and my final question, I think you kind of touched on it there, like what is the goal? I mean, obviously to get your hand raised, but, you know, is there some kind of statement that needs to be made or some kind of, you know, yeah. perfect scenario to walk away? You know, the statement is basically, you know, I was I – was, not an easy fight for anybody by any means. And that statement is, ladies, here we go. Have fun. You have the rest of your life. You're young. I don't want to hear nobody say that they are too old, that they can't make way. I don't want to hear anybody. I don't want to hear none of that. Ladies, get it together. Get obsessive. Get obsessive about your career. Do what you need to do. Put an exclamation point on it and your name. That's your name. That's your reputation. Over here. Hi. Hi. Uh, I want to ask, uh, I see this on Wikipedia, I want to know if it's true. You were originally denied for the Ultimate Fighter when you were first getting in? I was. I was 36 years old, and I had passed through to the second day, I guess, of interviews and whatnot, and they basically said that um, I wasn't what they were looking for, and unfortunately I was up there in age, and at that time I was 36. And that would have been the Ronda Rousey versus Misha season. Yes, it Do you would feel have. like you would you have wanted Misha to be your coach back then, if you think about it? 
in all honesty, I'm so happy I did not get picked. I, I don't, I laugh at it now. I don't think I could handle being in a house full of women, female fighters, alphas. I, I need to be the alpha. And so I don't think it would have been my cup of tea. And then, uh, obviously, as you look back on your UFC career, what have been some of your most favorite inside the cage moments? Ooh, everybody keeps asking that question today, so here we go again. Um, the just, there's two moments that stand out. First is the Jessica Andrade, and I was fighting in Brazil, and obviously that's in hostile territories, and the crowd on my way out chatting, you're going to die, they roared so loud for her, the cage was shaking. Like, I was like, and they booed so loud for me, the cage was shaking. And I think when we got into it, I just kind of tuned, fine-tuned them out, like I always do. They were just still so loud. It was, I couldn't hear my corner. I couldn't hear her corner. I couldn't even hear myself. No, I couldn't hear nothing. And as soon as she tapped, silence. Dead silence. And I was just like taking that moment in. Um, that was one moment that stood out for me. And obviously the other one was the Sarah McMahon fight when the worst case scenario, don't get in her side control, and I got in side control. And it was just one of those things. I got back to my corner after the first round. I was like, well, that sucked. And they're like, get it together. Um, so we had practiced something as far as, you know, take down to a triangle, and it just so happened that I got it. And that moment right there was just, kind of in your face because everybody counted me out for that fight. Well, congratulations on what's been a great run and best of luck on Saturday. I appreciate it. Thank you. You mentioned keeping it a secret, your retirement. Um, I'm wondering if you did that because you were worried people might talk you out of it or you might talk yourself out of it or if you just wanted to enjoy it. <laughs> um, yes, I've, I've been trying to be and talk out of it as of now. Um, they have tried to talk me out of it, and that's not going to happen. Oh, you got one more, like, you, no, this is it. And I think more so was there's some things that you just need to keep to yourself. You can't always let your right hand know what the left hand is doing and vice versa. So I just kind of was like, I don't want them to think that mentally I'm already checked out. I don't want them to bring it up. I didn't even want it to be in the conversation. I just wanted that to be for myself. So why reveal it for this one? Did you, did you want the fans to know, hey, this is my last chance? Oh, yeah, and I wanted them to know this is it. And I wanted to let the UFC know this is my final fight. Thank you for, man, they've changed my life. Like, they've done a lot. They've done a lot for me, and I can't say enough thank yous. But I wanted them to know, uh, I want to go out on my own terms. Will you let me do it? And they were absolutely 100% for it. And a little off topic, I'm just curious what it was like to teach PE during a pandemic. Oh, it was <laughs> miserable. It was terrible. I was like, I did not wish that on my worst enemy. No, no. <laughs> did you have to do it online? Yes. Oh, that's terrible. Yes, it is. Thank you. Mm hmm. But I look good on camera. <laughs> I was like, look at <laughs> these lights, though. <laughs>